Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Lee Van Dam here, and it is time for us to pull on Shiro Amakusa, the dreaded boss from Samurai Showdown. And uh, we've got quite a few chances to see if we can snag him, so we're going to see what we can get. Now, we've got four 10 pulls out of these tickets, and then we've got five 10 pulls out of diamonds. So, we got a lot of work with as Again, with these kind of contests, it's really cool. You've got three days to get as many points as possible. Each draw, 10 pool, is, I think, 100 points. So we should be sitting pretty good after this is all said and done. And if we can get one of these top spots, then we will get Shiro Amakusa as a character. And top eight is going to get Amakusa. Pretty, pretty tight. So I pulled one earlier, and that was free. And looks like we're getting Iori shards for our troubles. So let's go ahead and pull with the tickets first. Got Benimaru. Nice. More my shards. Really awesome. So Benimaru causes paralysis. And uh, paralysis in the game is very interesting. Um, it lowers the amount of rage that you get, and it does, and it can spread. So it's pretty cool. My, she does team damage, so she does AOE damage. Man, and we got a kickback of 288 diamonds. That's pretty slick. What's up, Vanessa? How you doing? Her DM's still really cool. She's my favorite KOF uh, waifu, I guess. Uh, boxing, and they used to call it just violence, which was amazing. King. This is perfect. I needed more King Shards. She is actually my highest damaging attacker, and she also increases everybody's block rate. So she helps everyone on the defensive end to cool also. So that's really cool. Let's see who, who we've got next. Okay, we've got Athena. She's our resident healer. She heals the whole group once you've awakened her weapon. So very important to do that. And her awakening um, weapon you can actually get that out of the store, so it's not random. So you definitely need to make sure that you awaken her so you get the full benefit of her heal. Billy Kane! What's up, Billy? Billy Kane, great guy, wonderful tank. Um, he has uh, damage, a damage reflection, and he also does AoE attack down for his des desperation move. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. So, let's go to the diamonds. Yes. Let's do that. EG. What's up, EG? So, EG is interesting because he deals damage to a column with some of his moves, and he also can, can create a duplicate of himself, which gives him temporary hit points in order to absorb damage with. It's different than a shield, but I don't know all of the technical differences, so I'll have to get back with you on that on how that works. Oh, so we've got Kyo. Now, this is only the second time since playing this game I've pulled Kyo out of a 10 pull. It's pretty crazy. Uh, he deals fire damage, so burning damage, good attack power, and as you can see, he can be upgraded to uh, super solid rare. So, gets very high stats that way. Andy! Andy creates his own shield, and uh, I don't know much else about him, even though I love the character. What's up, Andy? Okay. See, we're moving up. We're top five already for right now. What's up, Chizuru? How you doing? So, Chizuru, she still has a really, really great DM because it causes silence for the whole team or has a chance to cause silence for the whole team. That's pretty sweet. What's up, Andy? You're back. Okay. Okay. What's up? Kenso! Now, Kenso is pretty cool. Uh, remember his DM, if you're below 50% hit points, he heals. If you're above 50% hit points, he deals a very, very high damage attack to a single target. All mature. What's up? What's up? She is so murderous if you have high hit points. It's beautiful. All right. 
We're doing pretty good on shards. We're getting a lot of refunds on diamonds. And as you, as you can see right behind us, we are filling up this bar. If we get to 1,500, that's going to be great because that'll be all the Iori shards. Oh, more Keo shards. Okay. All right. Interesting. Whip. So Whip causes bleeding, and her DM actually heals her a lot. So that can be really, really cool in the early game. She can be very, very uh, self-reliant. Joe, what's up, Joe? I don't know much about what Joe does. I need to research him and see. Oh, got a nice refund. So we did pretty well. So we're in second place right now. We're still going to need to do a few more pulls in order to guarantee that we'll get Amakusa. So uh, as long as we get 1,600 points, which I'm sure we will do some more summons within three days, then we will get four-star Amakusa and some shards. So that's very cool. That sneeze there. That was crazy. The Now... Getting a ton of Iori shards is really, really important because Iori is a hard character to get a hold of unless you pay for them. So the chance to get Iori shards, if you're free to play, you definitely got to summon on Amakusa. So I hope you've been saving up for uh, for him. And, um, you know, that's all we've got right now. Let's take a look at what he does because he's going to be down here. Or actually, we can go back in the summon and look it up. Let's take a look at his moves. So, all right, so here we go. So he summons a giant array to unleash the power of hell upon the enemy. Attacks all enemies and restores the allied fighter with the lowest rage, a thousand points of rage. It restores his own if there are no allies on the field or if all allies rage is full. Inflicts one stack of undead, okay? And Undead is interesting because basically, from what I've shown in Path of Deity, you, if you have Undead on you and you do a Desperation attack, it heals him a lot. It's very crazy. All right. So we've got a single target attack right here. And then Death Soul also puts Undead on someone. So before unleashing any special moves, it heals Amakusa with 10% of your max hit points. So that's what Undead does. It's crazy. You need to get that off of your fighters as quickly as possible when you're fighting Amakusa. Poison Slice. It also adds Undead. So he can be really annoying to work with because you don't have anybody to get rid of the Undead status effect. He basically becomes indestructible because he heals before every attack. So crazy so so crazy so that's it pretty good pull you got to let me know if you're pulling how you do in the comment sections below and uh be sure to like this be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i really appreciate all the love you've been giving me and you guys hanging out with me and until next time this is lee van dam you guys take care god bless and i'll see you later